Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K17 Pro AM game. We are back with the main men once again, running with the same lineup that we ran with when we scored 31 as unfortunately Spade can knock down his signature corner three and they're looking to put up some early points running up ahead and that they will going up 3-0 as we find Philly inside good kick out to Zilla in the corner and bang right back in the game is tied of course as a post score Zilla had like I mentioned but anybody can hit those corner threes and he had a pretty good release as he was knocking those down pretty much all night long as we throw up the lob to Zilla who finishes it home and he's on a personal 5-0 run right now in this game and with us running with the made men one thing to know while on TMM, we have not lost the game yet. And I'm looking to make sure we have no blemishes in our record still. I feel like, you know, you know, I mentioned before, I didn't want to be the reason why we lost the game. But we're also helping out the team win games. We scored a lot of points that last time. We've been pretty efficient, getting assists, not turning the ball over. Up ahead after the block, reverse slamming it home. And things are looking pretty good once again. You guys saw this team's record was 8-4. and four. Okay record, not anything that you're too scared about, mainly because they don't have too many games under their belt. But they do have a winning record so you don't want to sleep on them as we throw up the lob to philly and he finishes it we're getting a little bit lob happy right now man that's just something that happens sometimes when i play pro am especially in park too actually in 2k i get a little bit lob happy i just like throwing those i like the little highlight play the effects that happen afterwards to get everybody hyped up about lobs is that speed going inside with the strong take but it is also strongly rejected and they're trying to run once again and they get a bucket in transition which was an early theme of this game whenever we miss these guys seem to be leaking out every time that's a perfect release that's gonna go down you guys know the perfect release is this year at least you know they go in every single time as we find day in the corner and he's able to get it to go that was actually an accidental pass right there i meant to give it to spade but um Kind of hit him in the shooting pocket when the defender was sagging off. So it worked out pretty well as that's an ill-advised shot right there. Should have made the pass out. That's just, you know, I sometimes you just got to take those shots. You got to feel out the defense a little bit. And if you miss one or two shots, no one's really going to kill you for it. As you see, he's a little with the ball. He's going to go in the post, do his thing. Watch this spin move to the baseline. And one finish. This guy... He's a post scorer to the true meaning of it as we force the turnover right there. Me and Spade are up ahead. One of us looking for the bucket. Day keeps it though. Find Spade. And look at this. He just runs straight to the three point line. No one follows him. And yeah, don't. You, you gotta follow my man Spade. He's gonna knock those down all night long if you don't. But um, yeah, still is a post scorer true to the word as they get that slam over Philly. And it's work. It's, you know, we're blending in the lineup right now, finding the ways to win this game. Look at Spade cutting without the basketball. Pretty beautiful right there when the forward space like that sometimes you know just got to look for the cutters that's something i was missing a little bit when we first started playing with this team as that ball is tipped and picked up by them they still have it going to the rim and i don't know how they got that shot off looked like philly was ready to swat that into the third row instead you know these guys they're getting their buckets they're hanging in here i feel like the offense we could pick up the tempo a little bit right now that's on me obviously as the point guard to change the tempo of the game but um main thing is you know they're getting these you know few buckets inside but with the two three zone that's gonna happen Happen sometimes we're gonna take this pull-up jumper this was pretty aggressive and ended up working out and that's gonna get us 10 early first half points and a player at a half award but more importantly the lead for our team by 11 but yeah we're you know giving them those inside shots every once in a while obviously philly can't guard like a two-on-one or something like that every single time to paint but it's better to give up that than the three-pointers you see philly gonna get them back on the other end with that slam dunk and you know as long as we give, don't give up the threes you guys are gonna see these guards they were trying to do a lot of crisscross action in the backcourt but spade day even Zilla and I were all rotating pretty well on those reading those you know very well and making sure that they couldn't get any open looks off of it we had to make sure they worked and they really wanted to get those and that was their main game plan coming in with the crisscross action and once those guards couldn't get it going they would try to force the ball inside as that's an offensive foul and it's green that is the fifth foul on the center with green hair so that's something to keep on oh, something to watch as that's a nice catch by day right there my dude didn't throw the greatest pass we didn't get an assist out of it we didn't really deserve the assist come on dude threw such a sloppy pass see spade in the passing lanes and that's one thing man they're trying to hit these crisscross plays and spade and i were all over that i see spade wide open bang and we got ourselves a nice 17 point lead and we're winning this game on the defensive end that's more so what you want to do against a team that's not that experienced like this than you know just putting up 80 points you want to you know it's a good game to get your defense set up in check and make sure yeah you still got this 2-3 zone is work because if you let a team that's not that great put up like 70 points against you know 2 
two three zone or whatever that you gotta recheck your assignments and all that recheck your personnel because something isn't right so this is a very encouraging sign this isn't even my team this is like space team and all that but you know still nonetheless just playing on a team it's an encouraging sign that the defense is helping carry us but nonetheless it is a 10 point game right now these guys are sticking in it as we go all the way but that's gonna end up getting blocked and check it out this is a live ball but it just rolls out of bounds and nothing happens it's a little weird glitch in the game nothing happened until they touched the ball i kind of tried to like run in there and, like try to bait them into running that into it because um we weren't gonna touch it and um they didn't we end up getting possession out of it thankfully but we still have this 10 point lead so they're continuing to run this crisscross action unfortunately what happens is what i said before philly can't guard that two on one that might have been my bad zilla rotate and that guy might have been a little bit more helpful i went inside so we pull up the jumper and get it to go playing very aggressive right now even though we missed one or two of these you know I'm trying to stick with it. Just trying to stick with that one shot, especially in the zone. As long as they stay home on spade, I can take that jumper that, you know, deep uh, mid range as we throw it to Zilla. But he cannot finish the line, but he cleans up his own mess. Doing some grunt work inside with the little guy as well. What a block from Philly. That's going to get us running. You know, we're looking to reward the big man inside. Spade takes the wide open three, but look at Philly doing work inside. And y'all you know, saying that grunt work that um, Zilla was doing, but that's what Philly was doing all game long it's not the flashy plays that you guys noticed but you know my man was putting in work and he was a big role what a step back out the post by zilla these two down low you know spain not doing the flashy plays right now knocking down the threes i'm taking it to the rim again perfect releases and all that but these two are really the key to why we're winning this game as we pull up the three and cash it home that's gonna get us a 17 point lead doing very well in this fourth quarter just making the winning plays as zilla knocks it down from outside he's starting to feel himself a little bit late in this this game is we run a little crisscross action of our own they don't guard spade and that one goes off glass and in and we are well on our way to a victory and staying undefeated on the made men that's a bad shot right there definitely should have kicked that one outside the spade and you guys can see i got a really short release sometimes you know in 2k you accidentally take the well not right, accidentally you just take those bad shots like damn i want that one back but it's too late and you, you get a half-ass release on it because you, you know it's bad is this ball is going to find spade outside that's the right pass. Even if I didn't hit spade exactly, let Zilla make that pass. We'll get the pass to assist, and we'll get points out of it. As we're going to try to get this double-double real quick, going to Philly inside. And reward the big man. He's got a nice little stat line right there, a big double-double. And like I said, a key piece of why we're winning this game as their center ends up fouling out the game and sending Philly to the line in the process. We're going to get one more quick bucket to cap off the victory. They don't well, they don't guard the basketball. <laughs> that's the easiest thing in the world. You don't guard the basketball. That's going to happen. And uh, we end up getting the victory against these guys leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it we got a double double over our own a nice little 19 and 10 you see um pretty well balanced game everybody got their own numbers they didn't really get too involved that's just kind of happened sometimes but he was a big part defense well you guys saw day was in the passing lanes and all that so this was definitely a team victory to the true meaning of it so leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys next time